A human fly coming to the Clark County Fair. I remember that like it was yesterday. Oh, I'm G.L. Wainscott, soft drink inventor. My story starts in 1902. That's when I was selling distilled water and flavored soft drinks like grape, orange, and strawberry. But in 1906, I added Roxacola to my product line. It was named after my first wife, Roxanne. What a looker. Where was I? Oh, yeah, I was just one of many independent soft drink bottlers that sold a cola flavor. Coca-Cola decided to sue independents like myself that were producing carbonated cola beverages. A dag blame big shot company. They think they can do whatever they want. Ah, but I knew it was coming. So I decided to find a flavor that was not being produced by any other soft drink bottler. So I researched the industry and found that in Europe, people were drinking ginger beer and it was not being produced anywhere in the United States. So I came up with this new citrus and ginger soft drink, but I, uh, I couldn't think of a good name. Then it hit me right here in the paper, the Clark County Fair. I'll hold a contest, let everyone try my new drink and let the people come up with a slogan. So in July of 1926 at the Clark County Fair, a local girl came up with the phrase, a late one, meaning the latest thing in soft drinks. I liked it, a late one, L81. And so the name was decided. I had a logo designed as a pun on the slogan. <laughs> ah, the formula. Everyone wants to know the formula. Well, in the early 20s, I traveled to Europe. You know, the war was over and lots of businesses were in trouble. So I bought ginger beer recipes from struggling beverage companies. I came back to my lab in Winchester and took what I knew about Roxacola and Wayne Scott flavors. Combining those techniques with the recipes I purchased in Europe. From those experiments, I invented the number two formula, which is my secret ingredient for L81. What makes L8 different than anything else is our unique flavor. We start with a special blend of ginger ale extract that's made just for us. We add to that our special recipe. We call it formula number two. That's the unique flavoring that makes L8 really what it is. We describe it as a crisp, clean ginger with a hint of citrus. Coca-Cola. They sued me over Roxacola. They thought no other company should sell a cola any cola, well, the courts ruled in my favor. But Coke appealed to federal court in Cincinnati. I believe they hoped a lengthy legal battle would drive me out of business, but I had a plan. L8 kept the trucks running while I fought the big boys in court. No one will be able to sue me over this one. It's all mine and I'm gonna make sure it stays in the family. Speaking of family, my great great nephew Fielding Rogers mixes up the secret formula, currently using my handwritten notes. People often ask about the secret recipe, and though I can't tell you what's in it, I can say that we started with G.L. Wainscott's original handwritten notes. We took those and we scaled them up to a modern batch size, and every so often one of the four family members alive today will mix it up in our secret blending room. Something else that is unique about L8 is the glass bottle. Today it's more than half of our sales, and it's what makes L8 different than any other soft drink. My Winchester factory fills green glass bottles with L81. You can also find it in aluminum cans and plastic bottles, but we don't make them here. You'll find that a real L81 connoisseur will only drink it from that green glass bottle. Why is that? Well, glass is the best way to preserve flavor. As other soft drink companies grew, most switched from glass to aluminum cans because aluminum weighed and cost less. But our customers like glass. We're very excited to be part of the Kentucky Proud program. We worked with the Department of Agriculture to come up with a couple of unique Kentucky products. We have A-Late Salsa that's made with Kentucky-grown peppers and tomatoes, and A-Late Barbecue Sauce that's made with Kentucky sorghum and honey. You can find those here and at a lot of local stores, and you never know what we're gonna come up with next. L-Late One Salsa, that's a real humdinger. I mean, who would have ever thought it would have come so far? Look, we got L-Late One Barbecue Sauce, suckers, clothes, what will they come up with next, an L81 without any sugar? <laughs>
Times change and people want new things. So in 2003, sure enough, Diet L8 was invented. It was our first new product since I invented L8 in 1926. We took Diet L8 one step further in 2011 and took out the caffeine. I think you'll agree that Diet L8 and caffeine-free Diet L8 are the best tasting drinks out there. Yeah. Well, times have indeed changed and so has the manufacturing process. Now, so bear with me here as I try to explain the magic of manufacturing the infamous L81. And we do this. Today, the manufacturing process begins with a depalletizer. A forklift driver delivers and prepares the pallet of empty bottles. The depalletizer automatically sweeps each layer of bottles onto a conveyor until the pallet has been emptied. Once the empty green bottles are placed on the conveyor, they travel first to the labeling system. As the bottles are being labeled on a separate track, a tray former creates the cardboard box that will hold the finished product. The empty cardboard tray then proceeds to the carton erector where six pack carriers are taken from a flat to a finished state before advancing to the carton stuffer. The carton stuffer collects two pairs of six pack carriers and places all four inside the empty tray. Meanwhile, the empty glass bottles are split into two tracks for labeling. The same non-returnable green glass bottle is used for L81, Diet L8, and caffeine-free Diet L8. Just the labels change. As the bottle passes through the machinery, the labels wrapped, cut, glued in one fluid motion. Once the bottle is labeled, then it must be rinsed before it can be filled for consumption. The labeled bottles are forced back into a single track where they are inverted before entering the rinser. The inverted bottles then travel through a corkscrew conveyor. The track leaving the rinser resembles that of a roller coaster and the filler looks and works like a carousel. The liquid elements that create L81 come together for the first time in the flow mix proportioner. The proportioner takes carbonated water, combining it with L81 syrup at a 5 to 1 ratio. After the proportioner creates L81, it is chilled to just above freezing before it's placed in the filler. While making the circle, the freshly rinsed bottle is filled with L81 and then is ready to be capped. When running at maximum speed, the filler can produce over 600 bottles per minute. Almost immediately after being filled, the bottle then proceeds to the crowner, where the bottle cap is placed and crimped on the filled bottle. As the crown moves down the chute, the process ensures perfect placement on the bottle. The L81 bottles are now filled and capped and ready for a date coating. Before the bottles can be put in the six-pack carriers to create cases, they must be dried off and brought back up to room temperature so there's no condensation on the bottle. Once the bottles are dry, they can be placed into the six-pack carriers. The case of bottles is now complete, but it must go through an automated inspection. This inspector makes sure there are 24 bottles in each case. If a bottle's missing, the defective case will be pushed aside and will not advance on the conveyor system until the bottle has been replaced. The palletizer's job is to take eight cases of LA, twisting and turning them to form a layer. Six layers are then stacked to form a complete pallet of 48 cases. The pallet of L81 advances to the shrink wrapper where a roll of clear plastic film is automatically wrapped up and down the pallet. Further security. A forklift operator will then pick up the wrapped pallet and place it in the warehouse for storage. The product is then ready to be placed on a truck for delivery. As CEO, people often ask, what are your plans for the future? Well, we want to keep doing everything that we feel we are doing well, like having a unique flavor, a high standard for quality, focusing on safety, and creating a family-like environment for our employees. We want to make a great product that everyone enjoys, and our goal for the future is to be able to get that product in the hands of more and more people. Right now, we're mostly in Kentucky, Ohio, and Indiana. You can get A8 in any Cracker Barrel Old Country store nationwide, but we hope to have it on grocery store shelves everywhere. So thanks for coming, thanks for taking our tour, and please help us share the best of the bluegrass and green glass.